Hello, it's Mel Keith, Rito Carlton, track announcer and handicapper with a handicapping preview of our Sunday card, 10 live races on August 18th with a 6.30 p.m. post time. Taking a look at this card, it's a good one, and Guy Gagnon is back. He wasn't here on Thursday. In race one, my spot play is the six, Orly's Angel, who spotted rivals about three lengths at the start here last Sunday from post seven, and was gapping last at three quarters, but just missed in the end. She was flying late to the wire, closing in the field's fastest last quarter of 30 and four. And and this is her second start with Trotting Hopples. So watch the six, Orly's Angel in race one. She's my spot play for the card. Moving on to race three, Bauer Power from post five looks very good. Even though he broke leaving on Sunday, he had a knee boot down when that happened and he broke his maiden here on August 4th for the returning Guy Gagnon, which is significant. That was a front end trip from the rail for Bauer Power and he won by open length. So he's my top pick in race three. I'd also watch the one there, Cause I'm Doc, who got away fourth August 4th at Hippodrome 3R for Marie-Claude Auger. That was a stake race and Cause I'm Doc was second over past the half and made another move. First over from third at three quarters before stalling late as a beaten six to five favorite. Some class relief for that one. The one in race three Cause I'm Doc. Taking a look at race four, a competitive matchup with some class droppers in there and some class climbers to join them. I like the three, Acapulco Sunburn, who gets major class relief and is reunited with driver Robert Shepard after their July 28th Rito Preferred Handicap start. Actually, Danny Darvo was in the bike that race, so Robert Shepard is back driving Acapulco Sunburn after that step up to the preferred. He was first over third against the light speed at the half. Not exactly where you want to be in the preferred, but Acapulco Sunburn and Danny Darvo tried it. And he ended up parked to three quarters. So that was not a successful effort. He gets class relief and he faces another one who is moving down after racing at the preferred level here. That is the four, Legion Sealster, who looks like Jimmy Gagnon's choice over Skyler. Legion Sealster pocketed up last Sunday behind the Gate to Wire winner, Carson Star Choice, and got boxed in. Love My Rockin' Bird was trying things first over, so Legion Sealster couldn't get out until the stretch. And he was loose late and just missed. So those two, I think, in race four, the three and the four, Acapulco Sunburn and Legion Sealster look like a good exactor to play. Moving on to race five, Lisbon Sealster from the rail looks good to me. This one split horses on the first turn Sunday and got parked by best girl in town who has a tough post here. Lisbon Sealster retreated to fifth in front of the grandstand, getting boxed in on the backstretch, and was a beaten four to five favorite after being interfered with by Best Girl in Town. Another's, another one I would watch in here is the two, 364, who didn't show a lot in his most recent start, but he's shown flashes of brilliance. So that's the two, 364, hard to identify, but there's something about that horse. He's going to pop soon. And six, Bad Apple, what can you say? Three wide early from the same post here last Sunday, uh, taking the lead from best girl in town, approaching the second turn and getting overtaken in the street by pocket sitting beach roller and beach roller is back here from post five with Ryan Guy so a very competitive race five looking ahead my best bet is coming up in race eight what can you say about the one mythic gambler he's taking on Carson star choice but a front end loving horse who fits here 
That's a handicapping preview. If you happen to catch this before early evening Saturday, a reminder, there's a $300 jackpot tonight in the free to play on track only handicapping challenge at Rideau Carlton conducted by Tammy Forge. Hope you can play and we'll see you tomorrow at the races. Good luck in all your selections on this King's Plate and Gold Cup and Saucer Day.